This week in Sunday Homeschool, we're learning a living truth, where Jesus rises from the dead, as found in the book of Matthew, chapter 28. If your family is saving this lesson for Easter Sunday, hit pause and meet me back here on April 4th. Helping us out with this lesson are Riker with our opening devotion, Gary with our music, and Riker is joined by his sister Luella for our live activity. When we describe an event that happens quickly, we might say that it happens in an instant, in a moment, in a second even. All of these are telling us that it happened really, really fast. Have you ever had someone say that it happened in the blink of an eye? How long is that? The blink of an eye is pretty fast. In fact, we often don't notice that we're blinking until we've stopped to concentrate on it. A flash is also pretty fast. Did you see how quickly the flash was here and gone? The Apostle Paul also mentioned something happening in a moment, in a flash, if you will. In 1 Corinthians 5.52, he uses the words, in a moment. He uses these words to describe how fast things will change when Jesus returns. In that short time, the dead will be raised and the faithful glorified. Sin will be gone and we will be made perfect in Christ. In that moment, in the flash of an eye, death will be no more. The change will be permanent for us and all the people of God. In today's Bible lesson, we will learn about another instant in which all things changed. We will learn about that moment when a resurrection from the dead happened. Pay close attention to what changed in that moment. The moment included a little fear for some, and we will learn why. We will also learn how quickly that changed. In a flash, sometimes things can change very quickly in our lives. In the blink of an eye, things may be different than they were before. Those changes may involve things or events that could be scary or sad. Those changes may be large or small. Those changes may even involve death. Even when those changes are scary or involve death, we do not need to be afraid. Death has been undone by Jesus. Death will be replaced by victory in the blink of an eye. In just a flash. Jesus will change death into life. Sin will be no more. We will all be changed from death to life in Jesus. In fact, the change has already happened for us. At the font in our baptism, we were changed. In a flash, God changed us from death to life in Him. He buried us in the death of our sin and raised us forgiven in Christ Jesus. A splash of water connected to His Word poured over us, and He pronounced us changed from death to life in Christ. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for changing us from death and sin to life in you by forgiving us all of our sins. Amen. Today, as we learn about Jesus being raised from the dead, Gary is here to help lead a song called Free, which is perfect for the occasion as it is all about Jesus' resurrection. It's actually an echoing song. So Gary's going to start us on the refrain and then you'll follow me with the echoing and the actions. So our words and actions go like this. I stand at the tomb and rejoice in Jesus as we look in the tomb and celebrate that he's not there. And when we say the name of Jesus, we do the sign language, which indicates that Jesus was nailed to the cross with his hands but he's not on the cross anymore. So I stand at the tomb and rejoice in Jesus. 
He lives and he comes now for every man, both ourselves and everyone else. I'm happy and free with my life in Jesus. I'm running to meet him just as fast as I can. And then there's two verses where you can follow along with the actions. But whenever we give a big clap, afterwards we always raise our hands up high because we are praising God that Jesus is alive. Are you ready? You can follow me. For this week's live activity, Riker and Luella are demonstrating how to make a butterfly snack. The instructions for the butterfly snack say to cut mini bagel halves into half again. The bagels don't have to be miniature, you can use full size bagels too. Put the rounded edges of the bagels back to back so they look like wings. Spread the halves with cream cheese and add a pretzel stick in the middle for a body. You could use things besides cream cheese as well. If you don't like cream cheese, maybe use peanut butter or jelly, whatever you like on your bagels. While the instructions for butterfly assembly end here, you can continue to add color to your snack with fruits, nuts, raisins, whatever else you'd like to add for a yummy treat that will also make your butterfly fun and festive. Butterflies remind us of new life. As you eat your snack with your family, talk about how happy we are that Jesus is alive and how our butterfly snacks remind us of our new life in Jesus.